Welcome to AKMDB. Today we're going to talk a little bit about my uh, uh, camera setup that I just picked up, which is the Sony RX100 Mark VII. It's a really nice camera. There's two things that I like with this camera. No, actually there's three things. It, I could connect the sound to it, so I could record with an external microphone. Uh, it could film in S-Log and it has a really good autofocus. Uh, the bad thing with S-Log is that it gives you a lot of noise. And if you are new into S-Log and don't really know how to handle this, it could be a little bit weird. Uh, the reason for the noise is that this camera, when you put it in S-Log, it has the native ISO of the camera, which is 800. That gives you the most information from the camera or it gives the camera the ability to pick up as much information as possible which you want in S-Log and which you want to be able to color grade it. But it gives you noise. So as you see here, there's probably quite a lot of noise around me and now the noise reduction come on. And now the noise reduction is split in half of the picture. So one half of the picture, which is this half, is noise reduction, why, reducted while I'm having a lot of noise. And I'm gonna crank up the ISO all the way to the top on the camera. So now I pushed the camera to its absolute maximum, which is 12,800 and I could only assume that there's a lot of noise. And now we do the same thing. Half of the image, noise reduced, not noise reduced. And let me show you a little bit as well how I do this noise reduction because it's really easy. So let's dive into the computer and have a look there. Here we are, and we have the footage in um, DaVinci Resolve. And let's have a look on it. And you see there's a lot of noise here. This is um, the one that I recorded on ISO 800, and this is the one on 12800. And you see there's a lot of noise here. Uh, let's play it, so you see, it's really noisy. And let's jump to the other one, and you also see there's a lot of noise here. So reducing the noise is, is really easy. You just go to your color section of DaVinci Resolve, and then you search for reduce noise, and you will find neat video, reduce noise here. You pull it to your node and you click on this one, prepare noise profile. That opens up uh, need noise in a new window and it uh, would ask if you have a progressive or interlaced. In this case, I have progressive and let's get it all visible for you. Now you can see it. So the first thing you do here is to select an area that is even and noisy with the cursor like this. It will tell you that it's a good size or not uniform and then you could move it around until you find a place that the software are okay with. Maybe a little bit tricky on this. Let's try on this blue one here. Well, anyway, uh, oh, there it is. Then you press on bold profile and the software will do, uh, do an analyze and you press on adjust and preview. And in most cases, this is enough. You clearly see here like before and after when you're pressing it, all the grain is kind of disappearing and it looks much better. Uh, there is also a possibility to um, uh, play around with the filter settings. You have temporary, temporal and spatial noise reduction 
and you have a general option with some other settings. I prefer to enable the mix with original and put it on uh, around 75. And let's hit apply. And that definitely made this footage uh, much better. And let's do the same on this one. And for this, I'm going to copy it. So I copied it and I paste it onto the node. And in most cases, this works uh, pretty good. Now you can see like before and after. I would recommend you to play it because it's two different footage. The one have more grain, so maybe you need to redo the um, analyzing and stuff like that. And there's also some people say you should denoise before you do grading, and some people say you should do it after. I generally do it after my grading, so it's the last step in my process, and I put that in a separate node. So I have my all my nodes here with the grading, and then I put the noise reduction last because uh, this is quite heavy for the computer to process. So if I want to play back it, I just uh, deselect it, and then I could uh, do the playback. But with it on it's well it's hard for the computer it depends of course of your performance um anyway next up is to show you some uh, before and after of this footage well, as you can see uh this plugin is really effective it cleans up your footage in a good way and it's simple to use, but it still have the depth of it. So you could tweak around with all the settings and um, get the footage exactly how you want it to be. And next thing I'm going to show you is some real life situations with and without noise reduction uh, that I did some days ago in the nature. And uh, I say thanks for watching already now. And if you have any questions or thoughts, leave them in the comment below.